I felt very bad when I heard for the first time about uh, the protest demonstration in JNU by students. I thought they were being silly, mindless, maybe even mischievous. I thought the university authorities would take whatever action and if they are sensible, they would try and convince students of why they were wrong in doing what they were doing. But when the police action began, it took me aback. There was no evidence connecting the JNUSU President Kanaya to anti-national slogans. Why was he being arrested? There was nothing in this entire incident about sedition. The Supreme Court has very categorically said that sedition is not about words and slogans. It's about incitement to violence and actually actions leading to violence against the country. And then there was talk about terror links with absolutely no evidence whatsoever. That's when it struck me that it's something else. It's a different game altogether. It's not about punishing the guilty. They're into a different game. So much of propaganda began about nationalism. I feel strange, odd, almost funny when I hear all these things. Is this nation threatened by a few handful people out shouting some strange silly slogans? Does that give out a message of the strength of the country or about our weakness and vulnerability? Are we like Pakistan that someone flies a tricolor and you arrest that person, put them under jail? In any case, when this government and its ministers and RSS, when they talk about nationalism, I feel like laughing. Those who've surrendered to the US last month in Nairobi summit, come back and give me lectures on nationalism, national sovereignty and pride. This RSS and BJP who have no history of contributing one drop of blood to the freedom struggle of this country, who have a history of betrayals. They teach us lessons on nationalism on the basis of borrowed ideas from Germany. When Patiala House incident took place, that's when the entire thing opened up. That's when the game really became clear. Nationalism is just an instrument. JNU is merely a pretext and Kanahiya is no more than just a symbol. This is about giving a message to the country, message to everyone who thinks message to everyone who can speak and the message is be careful anything that goes against the establishment of this country will not be tolerated anything that goes against the ideology of those who are ruling will not be accepted this is a message against any dissent in this country anyone who lives anyone who loves democracy must oppose this. Anyone who loves the idea of India must oppose this. This is the true duty of an Indian. This is the true duty of a patriot today.